Why is it always so difficult to make a movie that is based off a video game? Why is it always so difficult? Because a lot of movies that are based on video games are always bad. Like, why is it so difficult? I mean, it's not completely difficult like that because there are still some movies that are based on video games that make a lot of sense. Movies like Mario, Mario that came out last year, and um, The Last of Us. Those are two movies that were based on video games that were very enjoyable, especially The Last of Us. Maybe because they made that one into a series, it gave them a chance to flesh out the, the story and tell it in a very brilliant way. But is this something that is so difficult to make a good film that is based on video games? Man, I don't know. But it's always something that feels like it's impossible with the kind of films that they release. It's just appalling, honestly. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, I want to talk about Borderlands. Borderlands is a movie that is based off a video game of the same title. And I've never heard of the video game before. I never played it. And I didn't even have an idea of what to expect before watching this movie. But I watched it and honestly, it was just like every other action movie that you've seen. Every other generic action movie that you have ever seen. Like if you've seen one action movie, you have seen this film. <laughs> That's how generic it was. And because it was based on a video game, I thought it was going to be something that was very interesting. Plus the cast of it, I thought this cast can do no wrong. So I was excited for it. But when I watched it, I was just so disappointed. There is not a single thing in this film that, that I liked. Okay, maybe I liked the colors. <laughs> but that's all. The film was just, like I said, generic. It did not have any new things to add. And one of the things that even surprised me, I already mentioned the cast. The cast surprised me because you have actors like Kevin Hart, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kate Blanchett, Jack Black. Actors that are big actors. Some of these actors have even won Oscars. And they are in this film. This film with a very, very bland script. Like, how did it happen? At some point, I was thinking, maybe they forced these actors, they held them at one point to shoot this movie. Because from Kate Blanchett's performance, it felt like she was not happy to be in the film. It felt like she just came to make money. She didn't care for the story. She's just there to just make money. That's how her performance come off as. And it was just very, very obvious. Because the story was just a very bland story that you've seen a thousand times. Nothing new, nothing brilliant about it. So why are these actors in this film? I don't know why. But if I was asked to guess, I would say they, they were held at one point to shoot this film. Well, not all the actors didn't seem like they were forced to do this film. Kevin Hart, it felt like Kevin Hart was actually enjoying himself playing this character. And, well, that's good for him to be able to enjoy something in this very awful script. But seeing Kevin Hart as he enjoyed his performance, because it came across in his performance that he enjoyed playing this role. And that was something that made me like seeing him <laughs> not that i liked his character because there was no character in this film that i liked but i just like seeing kevin Hart because he was having fun playing this role plus i like kevin Hart. the characters in this film they are just bland characters there's nothing to them they feel like one-sided characters they don't have anything that makes their characters interesting they're just characters that are just there just to further the story nothing exciting about them nothing interesting some of them are even annoying so it's just like what the fuck is this movie about who are these fucking characters that i don't even care for i was just waiting for time to just go by and end this film speaking of time while i was watching this film i checked what time the movie has gotten to and it was just like 30 minutes and i could have sworn that i've been watching the movie for an hour but I checked how long it has gone, and it was just 30 minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, the film feels so much longer than it actually is. It's about 1 hour and 30 minutes long. But it feels so much longer than that. And maybe it's because the story is just lackluster. And the writing is terrible. The dialogue is fucked up. Everything does not even make any sense. Maybe that's why I felt like time was just, it was just longer than it was. But it was so long. And I was just like, fuck. This shit is going to take my life. <laughs> Well, I, and when this film ended, I could not wait to just get it out of my system. And fuck, that movie was one rubbish movie. I don't like calling movies rubbish because I respect the art of filmmaking so much that it hurts me a little bit to call a film rubbish or boring. But this film was everything in that category. Rubbish, boring, lackluster. Ah, oh, damn. Honestly, when I saw the trailer of this film, I was excited to see it. One, because I did not know anything about the game that it was based off of. And two, because of the actors that are in this film. Like I said earlier, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, Kate Blanchett, um, Jack Black. All these good actors in this film. And they could not just give it life. It was just a very, very disappointing film. And I wish I could get back the one hour, 30 minutes I wasted on watching this film. If you're asking me, I would never ever recommend this film to you. If you're about to watch it, just do yourself a favor and scratch your eyes out. <laughs>
<laughs> Honestly, because there is nothing you're going to get from this movie. If you just want some background noise, like in your room, you want something to be playing while you're doing something else, yeah, you can put it on. But if you want to watch a good film, this is not what you're looking for. Just keep it. Get out and run away. Don't watch this shit. So have you seen Borderlands? If you've not seen it, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Comment below and let me know. Is this your first time on my channel? Please subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Cheers.